Well, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Did Madonna just announce her retirement from touring and nobody noticed? Um, I saw this today, and it's from five days ago. Someone posted it from Iconos Art, I think they're called. And it's got the statement that says, Madonna reflects on her career and makes a very important announcement in Mexico. And it's got quotes from Madonna here. It says, I won't always be the popular girl, but I'll always be remembered as the damn rude and honest girl that I am. And when I'm no longer here, no one will ever say I didn't fight for what I believed in. And then also says in quotes, I'm aware that the Celebration Tour will be my last world tour and possibly this will be the last time I will give concerts here, as in other countries. So thank you immensely for your unconditional love. Thank you for so many years of support. And I'm like, did she say that? Because I didn't hear anything about that. I can't believe a statement like that would have gone unnoticed. Um, I know that Frida Kahlo appeared via Salma Hayek and um, stuff like that in the last show went really well and that's all. I didn't hear anything about this. Um, so did it happen? Did she say this? I couldn't find any videos. I asked a couple of people that I know went to the concerts and they thought perhaps it had been um, misconstrued or something, what she said, and I'm just not really sure because my feeling was when they announced this sh tour that it was a Greatest Hits tour and it was being sold like a Greatest Hits tour. And Madonna said she would never do a Greatest Hits tour because if you have to do a Greatest Hits tour, it basically means you're not relevant as an artist anymore you can't sell a tour, um, you can't get, you know, the, the, the support and the funding um, for, for a tour based on your current work, and you have to pull on your old hits, you know, you're, you're kind of done. And I always thought she wouldn't do a Greatest Hits tour, and if she did, it would be her last tour, because it would mean that, you know, she couldn't do a tour the way she wanted to. Um, so I sort of thought, when I heard she was doing the big show in Rio, I thought, oh, this is it, this is the end, they, they want this big final moment that she can go out on top, where she's had this sell-out stadium arena tour, you know, 80 shows, no cancellations, no fairly good reviews, the only real issue is people complaining about her being late, and I wonder how the people on the beach are going to do with her being two or three hours late, that'll be interesting, but um, if she is, she was on time a couple of times in London, I think, I think twice, <laughs> twice out of 80 shows I think she was on time, um, but yeah, I, 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 I thought that this would be her last tour and that she would announce it. And when I heard this, I thought, she's going to announce at the last show that I'm done and make everyone like regret that they didn't like come to see the show. Instead of letting them know, this is the last tour, I'm retiring, calling it like the farewell tour like Cher did. Um, that's telling people afterwards, like, yeah, now you can, now you can regret not seeing me. Um, that seems like a very Madonna thing to do. So I can imagine her doing that, and I thought that's what she'd do. But apparently she already said it at this concert. But... um. Is this someone making up a quote, or is someone... I don't know. But um, the other couple of things about the, the Rio show that I thought was interesting. The stage. I assumed, being on a beach, I, I assumed they just have the stage in the middle, like face um, backing back onto the ocean, and then the beach and all the um, houses and things on the beach could watch the concert. Or they'd have it on the land and then, you know, facing out towards um, the beach and everyone in the water and all that, you know, you can just watch the concert. But I saw photos of the stage, and they're building it in the middle of the beach, facing one way. So half the beach sees the stage, and the other half of the beach is behind her. Unless it's the very end of the beach, but it looked like it was just in the middle of the beach. I'm like, why would they do that? There's going to be people who could have been on the other side who could have you know, had a good view, who are now going to be looking at the back of the stage, and only one side of the beach is going to be able to see her, and it's got to limit how many people can actually be you know, at the show. So it doesn't make any sense. And the other thing I'm worried about is that apparently this show is going to be recorded as the concert um, tour, video, film, whatever. So whatever, if we get a DVD release or a streaming release, because we still haven't got Madame X on official um, Blu-ray or DVD, we got it unofficially from fans, and it's still exclusive to Paramount Plus, maybe when that runs out, if that's time limited, we will get a DVD or Blu-ray release later on. But um, the idea of filming this, because it's not the arena show, I don't believe they can replicate the show exactly and I don't think it's going to be a representation of the whole tour. And that's really unfair for people like me who didn't see the show and wanted to see, at least watch, you know, the concert of it. Um, so I'm a bit worried about that. A bit confused about did she just announce that it's the last tour or not? And is this concert her, you know, big goodbye? Um, I'm not sure. But um, either way, I think they should have set up the stage differently. So just a bunch of weird things I just want to comment on and give my opinion on and see what other people think. Please let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of the whole situation. And if anyone heard her say this live or has seen videos, please let me know, because I couldn't find anything um, that featured this, this, this quote.